for the pulse amplitude modulation so first let us set the message signal amplitude and the frequency so we are going to use two channels channel 1 and channel 2 for the message and the carrier frequency respectively so first the on off button should be enabled for the for receiving the signal so here we have enabled the on off button and uh, this channel 1 or 2 button it is for uh, swapping between channel 1 and channel 2 so now i have uh, shifted and changing it to channel 1 so it is displaying channel 1 so here we have uh, all the options to change the uh, frequency so here first we are setting a sine wave and uh, options to change the frequency period phase amplitude offset so all these uh, are for the uh, settings for the uh, signal now let us set the amplitude of the signal so amplitude so here the offset before that the offset should be always at zero zero volt offset and uh, the amplitude we are setting three volt peak to peak so here we can have all the options to set in millivolt uh, peak to peak and uh, millivolt in R rms and vrms all these options so we want in uh, peak to peak so let us set three volt peak to peak and uh, the frequency let us set it as uh, one kilohertz so already we have uh, done the setting so it is frequency is one kilohertz for the message it's a low frequency signal so this, this is the message signal setting now let us observe this is received properly in the circuit so now i am connecting the probe positive of the probe to the message so message signal we have connected given to the base so from the base we have connected the signal source resistance 1 kilo ohms so the other end of rc 1 kilo ohms we are connecting the input positive the black lead is the negative we have given to the ground now the oscilloscope connection the we are we are using channel 2 channel 2 so we are connecting the positive probe to the message signal so i am connecting the positive of the dso positive connection in series with the message signal the same series connection where i have given the message signal so both the signals both the leads should be connected in series see here both should be in series i have given to the rc 1 kilo ohms resistance positive of the oscilloscope given to the positive of the message signal now let us observe the wave so coming to the oscilloscope i am giving auto scale so if it is auto set you can see the message signal is being received the frequency so now i can pass it the frequency is 1 kilohertz what we have set and the amplitude is 3 volt so you can just observe we have set 1 kilohertz signal message signal and 3 volt amplitude as the input signal that is received properly in the oscilloscope so now our message signal is properly received now let us observe the carrier waveform coming to the frequency uh, frequency of the channel 2 here channel 2 we have connected carrier signal here we are going to set the frequency of the carrier signal as 10 kilohertz so now coming to frequency give 10 kilohertz 10 kilohertz this is the frequency setting and the amplitude setting click on amplitude change it as 5 volt peak to peak so now we want 5 volt peak to peak and 10 kilohertz as a frequency so here we have we have various options for other uh, variations and now here the carrier signal is a pulse so i am choosing a pulse and whose duty cycle so see that the duty cycle is set as 50 percent so already it is set as 50 percent if you want to change we can change the uh, duty cycle as 50 percent and this is the setting for the carrier frequency now we can observe the carrier frequency in the digital story oscilloscope so before that the positive of the oscilloscope should be connected in series with the carrier signal so i am connecting the carrier signal at the other end of the 10 kilo ohms resistance at the emitter terminal now i am i am connecting the same series connection the positive uh, terminal of the dso now let us observe, observe the waveform so now you can see this is a pulse whose frequency is 10 kilohertz amplitude is 10 volt peak to peak so whatever we have set here it is received in this oscilloscope this is for the carrier waveform now let us observe the modulated pulse amplitude modulated signal now for modulating the signal let us give the vcc supply 
so switch on the vcc the positive of the vcc is given to the vcc top two line and negative terminal to the ground so here we have given the vcc as 12 volt 12 volt setting and now let us observe the output so output probe i am connecting it to the collector terminal so this is the collector terminal now let us observe the oscilloscope view auto scale so now we can slightly adjust the time period of the signal so the output looks inverted so we can invert the total phase by clicking on the channel button and we, we will get the option to invert the waveform click on invert and uh, the position has uh, been changed so let us uh, move the position position of the waveform the position of the output waveform so this is the waveform observed so for measuring the waveform so we can observe that uh, the envelope of this signal is the message signal and the frequency of this signal will be the carrier frequency so you can see here the frequency is uh, displayed as 10 kilohertz which is the carrier frequency and the peak to peak amplitude is around 880 millivolt or nearly 1 volt 1 volt so now we have to measure the pulse amplitude modulated signal the on and off time of the waveform for one cycle of the waveform in order to reproduce the output signal so with this uh, we can trace the modulated signal pulse amplitude modulated signal in the graph